everyone today i'm going to talk about our work titled modeling and analysis of a uh, new state geometry using multi body dynamics and uv particle simulation my name is Reginaldo Oliveira and my partners are Walter Jesus Ocar Casas both from Federal University and Victor Soares Roberto from Federal University of Sierra I will start by introducing a little bit about what the homogenization process is. Homogenization can be defined as operation that aim to reduce non-uniformities and some composition gradients that may end up occurring in a process where it has more than one phase. And in addition to some material properties such as temperature and even in industries that use it. It also has several phases in the beverage and food industry. It is very important because advance the process stage some products of energy is needed to that it enters in phase with another process and this homogenization helps in some executions of some chemical and physical process such as suspension dispensation and emulsion to ensure that we have the shortest time required we have to take in in account uh, homogenization system, not only the homogenizer or steer, but the tank as well, and whether it needs to be pressurized or not, and etc. In the left side, we can see normal measures of a steered uh, baffled tank that we can extract from the literature. In the center, we see an industrial tank with sports as like the gear model, shaft, baffle, the cater, and the support. On the right, we see several design steer geometries. Regarding this work, the tank was modeled via CAD and has dimensions in millimeters. The dimensions were taken from a few size industrial tank. The homogenizer is a mixture of a 45 degree straight blades and helix model but centrally hollow, having a good frontal and lateral reach area. It is important to point out that the diameter of this T and the diameter of tank ratio is 0 0.45. You can see here in the left the geometry of this steer that we using the I'm moving to the modeling and simulation. The model will use was designed in a conventional CAD soon after it was exported to the Waker Diamond Body Dynamic Station software so that we could get the necessary torques to create the oceanizer in contact with the fluid under the conditions to be described. Only the fixed joint between the tank and the ground were inserted in it, as well as the revolution joint of the axis homogenizer set in the blue C rotation direction. As for the CFD part, sorry for our analysis, it was the particle work software, which is a CFD simulation software for moving particles. It does not use mesh in its analysis, which makes modeling a real system less complex, not requiring mesh refinement, only particle size adjustment. As you can see here in the left is the model exported to Recordine and the right side you can see the, you can see two uh, the particle works model and this equation means the continuity and underneath that we have the Neffer Stokes equation that is both are used in particle works software. So the co simulation takes place between these two softwares, Recordine and Particle Works. Recordine had the duty to maintain the system multiple pneumatics and dynamics while Particle Works generates and simulates the fluid by moving particles, thus having interactions between both. So torque, velocity, and position can be taken from Recordine outputs, while mean particle velocity, pressure, mass, or volume flow, and fluid temperature. Can be taken from particle works. In order to characterize the non-conventional geometry homogenizer, some characteristic numbers 
surgic in literature were proposed. Speaking a little more about the power number, it is like the Reynolds number. I mentioned last number. It measures the power of uh, axis divided by the power of the homogenizer, which in this case is the rotation speed of the homogenizer, third times the diameter of the homogenizer to fifth times the density. As all type of flow in the industrial agitation of homogenization system, there are also three well defined zones. In the figure, the left, you can see the terminal regime for this type of system comes from 0 to 10 square right here. The left zone. The transition regime is from 10 square to 10 cube. This zone right here. From 10 onwards, it is the turbulent regime. So this zone right here. Another characteristic number of geometries for homogenization system is the pumping number. You can see from the image that just like the power number, the pumping number all also has its well-defined zone, physical transitional turbulent zone. The pumping number is a dimensionless number that is nothing more than the flow that the system provides to the fluid by the speed of rotation of the homogenizer times the diameter of the homogenizer cubed. We can see that the viscous regime is characterized by a straight line parallel to the x-axis for the further to the left of the graph. You can see right here. In the transitional zone, we have an ascending variation of the curve, and in the turbulent regime, becomes again a line parallel to x axis right here. Higher compared to the laminar viscous regime, the increment mentioned in the transition region depends a lot on the value of the dt ratio. The greater the dt ratio, the smaller the increment in the transition region. As we can see in the image of the right, this image, for this job, the ratio was 0.745. The graph on the right is two scale, so it does not show the laminar viscous region. And this is the equation of the OP number. Well, now moving on to the results and discussions, particularly fluid dynamic analysis or fluid dynamic analysis provided by the homogenizer was first proposed. For this purpose, nine simulations were conducted, each with a different Reynolds number. So we could see if the behavior of the response would follow or not the mode of literature, both the fluid dynamics and the power and pumping number. Starting with the fluid dynamics, we see on the leftmost images that there is no, there is a reticulation zone on the homogenizer curves. Zones are not interesting for homogenizers as there are compositional or temperature gradients in, but they always appear because of a pretty turbulence the tank geometry, the number of baffles or etc. We also see that the baffles do their job, which is precisely to make the fluid that is lower up and exchange mass with that which is higher up, and vice versa. Uh, movement of general circulation, not local. In the center image, you can see topologically how the velocity profiles of the particles that make up the agitated fluid under analysis behave. Logically, below is where we have the highest velocity zones as this is where the homogenizer is located but this does not prevent the fluid higher up from moving we can also see in this image that the movement of homogenizer generates a vacuum right here and in the rightmost image you can see a frontal perfume of velocity Comparing with the literature, we see on the left your model 
where I model with straight blades inclined at 45 degree with a certain call tank with a square bottom was used. It has two primary recirculation zones. They present a lag of the model because the zones above the homogenizer will practically not interact with the one below it. Furthermore, it also features micro recirculation zone periphery of the tank. Taking into account the geometry of the tank alone, one would expect such micro zones to mirror models on the right. Uh, was an unconventional geometry homogenizer like ours proposed work but it is possible to see the formation of two recirculation zones above and below the homogenizer but with the recirculation micro zones since the tank will use it as a flat bottom in both as well as the work between the main vortex is generated in the middle of the tank uh, here show in an animation of the simulation of our station system with the respective developed speed scale. You see that the speed zones start from the bottom one. You see right here at the levels, then you can see here to the vortex formation. On this slide, you can see what in an analysis of a fluid B homogenizer in this homogenization system would really look like. Here, we can better see the formation of vacuum regions as well as the upper contour of the fluid and how baffles with the topo topography of velocity. Now here, you can see the, the baffles again in the vacuum. Here are the pure forms, and then the parts in entry, and the vacuum in the blade curves. Going now to characteristic numbers, let's start with the power number. For each simulation, power number was obtained, and a graph of a power number versus Reynolds number was plotted. You can see the formation of all three zones laminar, transition, and turbulent. Right here, laminar, transition. Where a characteristic of our homogenization system was precisely the slight increase of the power number uh, transition zone, followed by the slight decrease that may be have occurred by the presence of baffles. I'm talking about this zone. Now, starting for our unconventional geometry, values from dot zero four to dot sixteen were obtained for a DT ratio of dot seven forty five. This means that to maintain the flow in the turbulent region, our model among others would be that would need less energy to maintain such flow in relation to um, back here. And here is what means power number. We can learn about talking a little about how the powers were obtained. They were composed by multiplying the average torque provided by recordine times the angular velocity. The average torque was was obtained as the value from the attainment of the constant that means from here on this procedure was done by the ninth simulation now speaking of the puppy number we can see that the formation of the curve stems to the format the literature as well as curve of power number versus Reynolds number so we were able to discriminate the three zones previously discussed. We can also see that for our model, the numbers found for the pumping number are very low. But this characteristic was to be expected because the DT ratio very high. Is a value of as we said before dot seven four five. This number was obtained as mentioned previously by dividing the flow obtained by the origination that divided by the rotation speed times the cube diameter where the flow is nothing more than the average velocity of the particles times the cross-section area of the tank. Average particle velocity 
was obtained by particle works software. Now, conclusions. These works evaluate a radio non-conventional stereogeometry with Bethel regular tech. The geometry evaluated was modeled using CAD software. After this, record them together with particle works. Furthermore, a comparison was taken with literature models to evaluate the non-conventional state geometry, the conventional steer geometry. We obtained that our model presents similar behavior, but with a peculiar shape in region in range of 10 to 5, which comes to be a characteristic of the geometric model. On the laminar region, the unconventional geometry still showed that uh, it needs low among uh, amount of energy because our application has a lesser power number and presents the smaller consumed energy level to reach a high Reynolds number value what demonstrates that it is a proficiency model besides that the current model pumping number is very poor which indicates a low level of agitation however we were considering that the dt ratio is dot 7.5 which is expected that was the low level of agitation. Acknowledgement. To my wife, Kelly Zavedo, Professor Dr. Walter Jesus Paca Casas, friend and partner, Master Suarez Goberto, and to Angie Software that provide me, provide us the, this license of the record die, both record die and parkour. And here, reference. Thank you.